Hey, this is Jordan Wagner with PremierGuitar.com and I'm here again today to talk to you about the new Hughes & Kettner Tubemeister 18 head. Now many of you have probably at least seen a Hughes & Kettner head at one point and as you can tell here this is pretty much a mini-me version of one visually and audibly as well and I'll get to that later. But right now you can see the front plexiglass panel lit up like a Christmas tree uh, with this bright blue LED which is or LED strip which is lining the very top of the plexiglass plate on the inside of the, of the, of the head casing. Um, there are two channels, one for clean, one for lead, and they both have their own separate master volumes and e uh, excuse me, gain switches. Uh, there's a shared three band EQ of treble, middle, and bass, and there's also a lead boost switch which will, when you're on the lead channel, will give you a uh, considerable amount of volume and gain boosted on top of it. It's an EL84 power section and two 12AX7s running in the preamp. So you can probably tell from the back of the amp here, this is where things really get interesting. Uh, this is at max 18 watts all tube. You can knock it down to from 18 to 5 or one single solitary watt. You can also completely knock out the speaker load requirement and run out with a uh, XLR cable straight out of this jack back here, which is a built-in red box direct uh, um, direct out speaker simulator and you can run it right into a um, mixing board or console or whatever you're going into at that time. There's a foot switch jack back here to switch between the channels and engage the boost and there's also a serial effects loop. One of the coolest features of this amp is the uh, amp's internal tube safety control circuit otherwise known as TSC and basically what this does is the the amp automatically and continuously adjusts the power tube bias to kind of prevent bias drift from happening so you know as you're playing over time your tubes will eventually start to drift in and out and what this does is it keeps your bias at like the most optimum level required for the amp to operate now I always kind of considered Hughes and Kettner's quintessential amp tones to be more on the hi-fi sounding things uh, very very crisp and defined and you can hear everything in every chord and this or the Tubemeister 18 does exhibit those qualities and there is a massive amount of tones you can get out of this thing ranging just from straight crystal cleans to straight up thrash metal if you really really want it there's a plenty of gain on this amp so I'm going to demonstrate some um, tones right now first of all I have a 2011 Gibson Les Paul traditional and we're running it into an orange PPC 412 4x12 cabinet.
So now I'm going to do some more clips, um, mostly with some clean, a little bit of overdrive added onto it with this uh, 2011 Fender uh, Standard Telecaster. <music> So there you have it, that is the new Hughes & Kettner 2 Meister 18. Uh, 600 bucks street price, which is a lot of amp for only 600 bucks, all tube, the one that sounds this cool. Comes with its own carrying case, uh, pretty snazzy. And uh, yeah, the, the tone's a little bit more driven towards people that kind of like that hi-fi, you know, cutting, cutting sound that you can hear everything in the tone. So if you have more of a vintage vibe thing going on with your love of tone, you might want to check one out before you actually purchase one. It definitely has its own type of tone, which is very much quintessential Hughes & Kettner Hi-Fi. And yeah, so you can read my full review in much greater detail in the October issue of Premier Guitar and also online at premierguitar.com. So again, this is Jordan Wagner, and thanks for watching.